everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an Ulta haul. I'm super excited. Um, just went and picked up a few little things getting ready for Christmas releases and thought I would share with you guys the things that I have picked up. Um, I did get the big bag but I don't really feel like I needed the big bag. I think they like to kind of exaggerate things a little bit every now and then but that's okay so um, if you are new to my channel my name is Tiffany and thank you for joining us here today don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more and let's jump into it alright guys so like I said I do have the big bag I don't feel like I needed it but I mean that could be just a poor judgment I'm super excited. I went kind of hunting for some of the Christmas releases because I do know that they are starting to come out and whatever isn't out already will be released like within the next couple of weeks. Um, but my Ulta already had sold out of some of the Christmas gifts so if you're really looking for them I would highly suggest just going ahead and picking them up online right now while you can. I know Sephora has some available online like the Too Faced one. Um, but the Buxom one was already sold out at my Ulta, so if you really want to know that you can get your hands on it, I highly suggest kind of just ordering them online right now, whether it be from Ulta, Sephora, or the actual company. Um, but that's just a little piece of advice. I'll probably end up doing that here soon, too. So let's start with the gift set that I was able to get my hands on. This is the... Um, Alter Ego Dynamic Duo Lip Set in Dominatrix and Social Light. Here's what it looks like. Um, these ones come with two lipsticks and two lip glosses. Let me open it up for you. It comes with the Alter Ego Lipstick in Dominatrix and the Lip Gloss in Dominatrix as well as the Lipstick and Gloss in the shade Social Light. I love their lip gloss. Like the tubes, they're just so sleek. It's amazing, sleek packaging. It has a nice emboss right there on the bullet. Just beautiful packaging. Let me swatch all of these for you. All right, so there is Dominatrix. Up here we have the gloss, and down here we have the lipstick. They are cream lipsticks. Just a beautiful, beautiful berry shade. Great for the season that we're coming into. And definitely not too intense where you can't wear it if you have pale skin. I think it's going to look really flattering on all skin tones. Alright, and then we have Socialite. So the gloss is on the top again, and then the cream lipstick is on the bottom. They're definitely like pure nudes. They aren't pinky, but they aren't really like brown they're not exactly super peachy either they're just kind of like pure nude colors um so i would probably pair these two like you could probably wear the, lo the gloss on your own a lot of people can otherwise you can pair it with a little bit more of a darker um lip liner or a darker lip gloss or <laughs> darker lip gloss a darker lipstick um i think it would look great in combination with a lot of different things you can pair it up and make a lot of different cool color combos with that one but yet again they're like still a really really nice color i mean for me it might just be a little too pale so like i said i'll probably pair it with like a lip liner or something but they are great great quality they don't really have a scent to them nothing floral nothing minty anything like that um so that's like a great gift set if you want to try out what Lorac products this was 26 dollars for the four, which is like a huge deal because it's a $66 value. Um, so it's a great way to try some of the Lorac products um, as well as give them to somebody else who may be interested in trying them or is ju you're just looking for a nice simple gift. That's a really great one that I think kind of gives you a variety that a lot of people will be happy with. Um, up by like the cash register, they always have the little travel stuff. And I saw this guy, which is the Buxom. Fearlessly Nude, um, this is a mini full-on lipstick and a mini full-on lip cream. Here's what it looks like. And for me, like I said, I was going there looking for the Buxom gift set in particular. 
that comes it comes with like 12 8 or 12 different um, lip glosses and that's what I was really really looking for but they didn't have it and I saw these and these would be like a really great stocking stuffer or yet again you know if you are just looking for some really simple gifts and you want to make like a gift basket of like travel size makeup this would be a really great one for you as well um, it's $16 and it's a $20 value so I mean you aren't saving tons of money but it's still super duper cute and it comes with the full-on lipstick in Satan in Sydney and the um, lip cream and white Russian now I haven't tried anything from buxom but I always hear really good reviews um, so that's kind of the other reason I want to try it is because it's it's really enticing to me I always love their packaging I hear great things, so I thought it'd just be a really fun thing to try. All right, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see those on me, but here's the full on lipstick in Sydney, and then there is the lip cream in White Russian. White Russian is really, really light. Um, it's not super pigmented, but it smells kind of sugary. So it, if you're sensitive to that kind of scent, it's probably not going to be something for you. Um, I think it would look really great on people with fair skin, much like myself, because you do see a little bit of color. I think it could look like too white on really, really deep skin tones, um, but you can definitely, yet again, pair up with like a lip liner or another lipstick. And then the um, full-on lipstick in Sydney, it's kind of like a lip crayon in a sense. This is what it looks like in the packaging. And it's not overly pigmented, not like the Lorac lipsticks I just switched, swatched for you. Um, so it's definitely something that you could like apply on the go and layer it up to get a really intense look. But this is yet again kind of like a warm peachy nude color, which I do love. Um, I have a lot of products that come in this color, so it's another great formula that I think would be really easy to reapply on the go, like if you're trying to go from meeting to meeting or on a lunch date or something like that. So really great options and a really great way to try some Buxom products. All right, and then um, up with the travel section, I got another one of the Too Faced Hangover RX travel size face primers. I love this face primer. I'm obsessed with it. I put it in my last month's favorites. I had bought in the travel size of it before and I think because I have so many primers in my makeup collection and I really like to um, buy a lot of different ones so I have a large variety and trying a lot of different products I don't use my primers up as fast as somebody who would like exclusively use only two or three primers so for me I tend to buy the travel size of a lot of things that way I can use them up before they expire and I don't end up wasting product um, and I know that with these ones, they have coconut water in them and things like that, that they do expire a lot faster than a lot of other primers that have more of like the chemical ingredients, the natural ingredients, if that makes sense. So for me, I really enjoy buying like the travel size of these expensive products. One, because I'm saving money and two, I'm not going to end up wasting money if I don't end up using the product before it expires, if that makes sense. So I just bought a replenishment of this guy. And then I bought this Mario Badescu um, Glycolic Gel. This is a moisturizing gel, um, obviously by Mario Badescu. I've fallen in love with a lot of their products. Um, I have their Rose Water Spray, which I use twice a day religiously. It's like the most amazing kind of, you can use it as a setting spray or a primer or just like a refresher for your skin. It's a really, really great brand. Um, and I'm running low on my kind of daytime moisturizer, which I usually get at um, Target. I use the Boots Botanics one. Um, and because I have oily skin, I always have to use a gel moisturizer during the day because cream ones are just a little too heavy underneath the foundation for me. Um, but I've been interested in trying a few different things, so I thought I would give this guy a try. Um, it's really, really hydrating, and it it's kind of like a water-based gel, so it's going to add a lot of moisture to your skin. But at the same time, it doesn't have ingredients that are going to clog the pores or be overly thick and heavy on oily skin. So it's not going to mattify, which is what my other moisturizer does right now, but I'm still interested in seeing how it'll be because I do um, reach for a lot more moisturizing products during the winter. So, And then I bought this one. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate. Um, I just don't have a chocolatey 
eye pencil. Um, I have a bronzy shade, but when I put that on my waterline, sometimes it can make my eyes look really red. Like the copper tones in it just make my eyes look a little bit more bloodshot than what they are. Um, so I have to be careful when I use that one, because if I use it when I'm really, really tired, then it's just not a pretty look. So um, I've been on the search for a nice, affordable drugstore eye pencil that's brown because I don't have a true brown in my collection and I thought I'd give this one a shot. Um, I haven't heard anything good or bad about it but it's only $2.49 so if I don't like it then it's like no big deal. Um, but that is what the shade looks like and that is hot chocolate. It's extremely creamy when I put it on so I'm concerned that maybe it won't last very long in the waterline but I'm not sure. If I do like it you'll probably see it in my monthly favorite. I did pick up another Essence product. This is the Mosaic compact powder in the shade Sunkissed Beauty. Here's what the packaging looks like. Um, it says it's an extremely gentle ultra fine compact powder for a natural tan finish. It's just like a really nice bronzer with a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't even know if you're going to be able to tell because it's not super dark. It just kind of kind of adds a little bit of a sheen to the skin. Lately I've been really into like the non-toured look, the non-contoured look, non-touring. I don't know what it is. I think that's what it's called. But like today I don't have any bronzer or contour on, but this would be a really great one that I could just like pop on the skin just right now. Add a little bit of warmth. It doesn't have a smell or anything, but just add a little bit of warmth to the skin, but not being overly dramatic. Um, and it adds a little bit of a sheen too, so still continuing on with like that glowy skin. I really do enjoy that for the winter. I know a lot of people tend to go matte, but because I have oily skin, I tend to do a little bit more of like a glowy, luminous look during the winter and more matte during the summer just to help my makeup last longer, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try this guy out. I think it looks pretty good on my skin. Um, but it's definitely for fair skin people, like it barely shows up on my skin. So if you have anything that's darker than my skin, unfortunately it's not going to show up on you. I think they do have one shade darker though. Alright, and then the last thing I actually bought um, is by Palladio. This is the Velvet Matte Cream Lip Color in the shade... Boostly? Bousley? B-O-U-C-L-E, Boosley, Bousley, I don't know, I don't, sounds like foreign language to me. Um, but here's what it looks like, it reminds me a lot of the something from Maybelline, the Vivid color something, and then Essence has a product that looks almost exactly like, this is what the one I have from Essence, this is their liquid lipstick, um, so the, the packaging looks almost, I mean it is identical. Packaging's identical. This one just has like rounded edges and the Palladio one has pointed edges. Um, but I was really enticed. I saw these first on Ulta's website and under like the new products and I was really interested to see what kind of quality it is. See if it's truly matte and if it's a great liquid lipstick. They have a pretty decent color range. I would say between like probably a dozen to 20 or so. I didn't exactly count, but that that's kind of what it looked to be like. Um, and you can get Palladio at Ulta, obviously. And that is what it looks like. So I'm really interested in seeing if it's going to dry down completely um, and what it's going to look like. This shade is kind of like a grayish plum color. So another one that's going to be really great for fall. I'm really interested in seeing if this is going to be more like a normal matte liquid lipstick or if it's going to stay kind of like the matte lip gloss from L'Oreal. If you know which one I'm talking about, a lot of people didn't like that because it doesn't stay in place. Which is kind of what I anticipate with this guy, but I'll have to play it around with it and see how it's going to turn out. It looks like it's drying down though, so it's going to be like a full matte liquid lipstick. So this retails for $6.99, so it'll be really interesting to see if it's going to be a good product or not. Um, I do love the blotting sheets from Palladio, and I have an eyeshadow from them that's pretty good too, so I'm very interested to see how that one works out. And then I did get two free gift with purchases um, that I'd like to share with you. So I have the Professional Sebastian 
Potion 9 Light. This is a lightweight treatment and styler. It's kind of like a leave-in conditioning treatment. I also got the Ultimate Hydration Kit by Murad. So this comes with the hydrating toner, renewing eye cream, and hydrodynamic ultra moisture. So that's just three different things as a gift with purchase, which is super exciting. So Alright guys, so that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the few things that I picked up from Ulta today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you would like to see more. I also have all these items listed in the description box below if you want to um, search them on Ulta yourself. And I hope you guys have a great day.